Hello guys and welcome back to another locomotive review and today we have this gorgeous H2 Atlantic called Beachy Head uh, which is an LBSC uh, locomotive HP grouping and it's gorgeous but also it is the new build Atlantic uh, we'll explain a little bit more later on uh, but this is a gorgeous thing and today we'll run through the locomotive in detail and go through its running capabilities etc and have a bit of a running session with it also. So let's get to it. So the this is the box for the H2 Atlantic. You see LBSCR, so London Brighton South Coast Railway. I believe it stands for. I could be wrong. Um, there is a little bit of information on the class. Now I believe uh, this one was uh, 1911 originally built, approx. And that was the original Beachy Head. But obviously they've now built a full ground up uh, new build of Beachy Head, so uh, the Blue Bell I believe, so that's going to be running hopefully towards the end of this year, um, which will be really nice to see, so that's an amazing bit of news, and it's gorgeous, which is why I've got this Beachy Head one, because I wanted to get an Atlantic um, H2 in BL Black, and it'd be Beachy Head for simple reason, it is the new build, but anyway, uh, pause that and read it if you would like, uh, we'll get inside and have a look at what's going on. So, locomotive comes in a block of ice packaging, packaging, packaging as normal. Uh, there is some etched nameplates in there as well, so a little bit of details like head codes, board stuff, and lamps, and stuff like that. Um, the instructions, we'll go through these, it's a... I quite like the modern Batman ones, I think they're better than the Hornby ones, which are just white sheets of paper with no info on them, useful information on them whatsoever. Um, it goes through everything you need to know, running in... Going, it's already been running because it is actually a pre owned locomotive, but it's obviously in good condition, so it's not an issue. Um, traditional Batman mechanism, but I do believe they have uh bearings, which is a good thing. So, because traditionally, uh, Batman locos don't, but this one does, I believe, if I remember from uh, some strange review, anyway. So, that's all of the stuff there. Just the right DCC fitting, etc. Uh, this is from Ellis Clark Railworks, so I do recommend you get pre and locos from there as well. Um, or Rail to Sheffield, etc. Get them from well-established companies if you want to go and follow them. Because you won't have any issues, and you do have a bit of a guarantee in that as well, so that's good. So, um, there's no issues with this locomotive, so that's all sorted. There we go. So that's the box. Now to the loco. So, there it is, and it is gorgeous. Now, Atlantic refers to an ocean, but also the wheel configuration of this locomotive being 442. Now, the only other 442 I have is the other Bluebell Railways locomotive I have, which is also being black. It is the Adams Radio Tank, and it was gorgeous with with the, uh, with the Atlantic. But anyway, um, that's the tank engine now. Atlantic refers to the tender locos, I believe. Uh, I don't think you can count the tank engines as Atlantics or Pacifics, which is weird. I don't know how the rules work. But anyway, this is a H2 Atlantic, and it's gorgeous. I will end up with several Atlantics because I personally adore the class, and I've always wanted them, and I think they're beautiful. Um, and it's a bit southern. We've not had a southern loco join the collection for, I think, nearly two years now, so... Definitely over a year anyway. Uh, so it's just nice to finally have a Southern Loco join. So we, uh, we're now run through the detail and these Atlantics are packed with it. Now in black, it doesn't they don't come across as well the detail in terms of the Locos. Mainly just because it's BR black. Um, but it's still a gorgeous thing and still very well detailed. So if you start at the front, you have the uh, separately fitted vacuum pipe and the other pipes and the lamp brackets you do have buffers they're not sprung on the atlantics for some odd reason but um isn't really an issue uh the smoke box door doesn't open on the h2s but i do think it opens on the c1 uh, which is the great northern one um, which i will get one of those very soon hopefully uh oh, this has a slight different running board to a h1 um there's an extra kink in it you will see the differences um, when I come to review H1 when I get one of those um, and it then goes down like that I believe this is probably a die cast plate running plate I can't really tell but the minute but it is straight as a reeler and it feels really solid so that's really really good um, separately fitted 
Um, handrails, all across the side, all metal, including at the front as well. Uh, you also have the show code at the front painted and the 32424 printed lovely on the front as well. Um, with the locomotive, it does look fantastic. Loads of riveted detail across the running plate of the locomotive. The splashes are picked out in the livery with the name Beachy Head printed on the second one, which looks brilliant. Some gold things, no idea as well. There's two boxes of gold on there, but don't really know what they are. But it is what it is. Um, loads of uh, more riveted detail across the side, it's all mouldy beautifully. Um, then across to the 32424 also on there, which is an easy number to remember. It would be even easier if it was 32323, wouldn't it? But, or 42424, but anyway. Um, that is printed really nicely in the cream sort of colour. Then you have the, you have like grey, cream and red for the lining. And it's all printed beautifully around the cab there. Uh, another separately fitted handrail. You've got glazing at the front. Uh, and quite a bit of it as well because the window's an odd shape. And then you've got this sort of like safety valve and whistle arrangement at the top there, which looks fantastic. Um, and then you've got the dome. That well, no, there'll be whistles. Uh, you've got a dome there. And the funnel, which is pretty big, pretty hefty. Um, there's a bit of dust on the funnel. There we go, it's gone. Um, so, yeah, it looks fantastic. Uh, you do have a little bit of detail picked out in the underframes, but it's not the most in the world, but it is quite difficult to see, really. So it's fair enough, it's not too bad. Um, you do have the outside cylinders picked out with the red and black as well, and that wheel configuration which looks incredible and uh, you'll see that going around shortly axles are picked out as well in black which is uh, a good thing they are fully metal wheels they're not uh, plastic wheels with tyres like they are on most Hornby Locos um, that's the way Batman do it so but they they look fantastic uh, you've got the steps in front as well and you've got them there and none at the front you've got them on the tender as well later which we'll go to in a second uh, loads of riveted detail on top of the cab as well which looks fantastic uh, other side, I assume, is very, very similar, if not the same. You just have extra piping across the side here. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad at all. Looks fantastic. And then we'll move to the cab itself. The cab detail is phenomenal. Can I remove the tender? There you go. Get a good view. There you go. So, you've got the wooden floor. You have the tender plate, which separates the two together as well, which is adjustable. It is in the down position at the minute. And all of that pipe work, you've got the cream walls, cream roof. That is like one of the best cabs I've ever seen on a locomotive. It's so accurate. Uh, no firebox glow or anything. This was built in the days before that was uh, at the norm. Uh, not really an issue anyway, it's only a gimmick. Uh, but it looks fantastic in there. Tender itself, there's some detail here connecting the two uh, where the coal would ordinarily come. Uh, this has got the old tender drawbar that Batman tend to use. Um, they've not really implemented many locos with that new system they've got, but they need to think of a system like Dapple, but or Hornby, but make sure the one with Hornby like make sure it actually works because Hornby doesn't. Uh, this has a full real coal load put in instead of the traditional one. Um, it's been done by the previous owner. I mean, it looks fine. Um, it's quite shiny. It looks it looks brill to be fair. Uh, we've not really got much issue with it, um, but you wouldn't ordinarily have this. You would just have the traditional plastic one or the metal one because they do metal ones in uh, Batman Locos. It would be removable and you can do the same if, to this if you wanted to. Um, but anyway, uh, you have the metal handrails at the front, uh, separately fitted as well. You've got a little pipe work here, a little like, rod or whatever it is, sort of to turn things. Uh, you've got these little boxes here which to keep tools in, you've got these here as well, and you've got the water tank thing at the back, which looks great. Loads of riveted detail around the side of the tender. In, on the LBSC livery, this is painted bright orange for some unknown reason, uh, but this is obviously black because it's BR line black. Uh, and then the tender has the livery on it as well, beautiful early crest printed on the side with the red cream and grey lining, which is really, really fine and printed absolutely beautifully. Uh, you've got the axles picked out at the bottom with the suspension linkage, which looks great. There's no, I don't think there's a water scoop on this because it's probably built, because the tender is quite old fashioned. It's probably built before the days of water scoops. Um, probably doesn't need one either because of the journeys that have been doing. Uh, and then you have the separately fitted uh, vacuum pipe at the back with the other pipe work and you've got the buffers as well. Um, which obviously I'm not sprung, but it's not too much of an issue because the rest of the loco is incredibly well detailed. 
So that is the detail. It is a little bit more brief because um, I don't want to keep you forever. Uh, but we'll now pop the Atlantic onto the track and see how it runs. So there is the Atlantic on this fine day in England today. Uh, which is odd because we don't often have weather like this. Um, but anyway, so uh, this is Beachyhead, and we're going to run it now. Make sure that the leck is turned on. Yes, it is. We're going to make sure that it runs well, uh, which it does because I've had it run before. And uh, I'll show you what the slow speed is like. So this will be run. I think will be running. Um, I don't think it will need any running in because it's pre-owned. So, um, but it runs it well enough that I know that it probably doesn't need it. So, I think it's been done before. Um, it does cog slightly, but that's still pretty slow. When it kicks in, it's geared pretty well, I think. These are traditionally quite quick locos. Um, I mean, that's probably as slow as you're going to get without any cogging. Backwards, it seems slightly faster. Let's slide it down, to be fair. Yeah. It's not as strong backwards as it is forwards, but not really important to go backwards all the time, is it? Uh, so it's not too bad. I mean, that's probably so it's going to get on my very dodgy track and electrics. Um, without cogging, to be fair, but it's lovely and smooth. Um, it's not too bad. It does, I think it will be a three pole motor, so it's not the most sophisticated, largest, chunkiest motor in the world. Um, so it's not too bad. Uh, I do have some coaches for it. We're going to, oh, we're going to run it with two uh, coaches rather than four, because it actually looks better with two. I just think it's the, the way the loco looks. Um, it can't hold four. Uh, I had it running with four the other day. Uh, but also the other coaches, uh, one of them has a really squeak axle and it really annoys me. But also this, uh, this loco doesn't want to couple up these coaches. Ah, oh, there we go, it has done, off camera. No, it hasn't. Right, the hand of God is needed. It's got main line, these have got main line coaches, I think they are. Or really old Hornby ones, so we've got really crap couplings. Right. So, let's enjoy Beach Your Head for a bit. Give it 50%, which is pretty... This is pretty quick, so let's see it running around for a bit. There we go. It does run beautifully, doesn't it? It's just nice to have a mid-sized Batman steam loco that's just still pre-grouping and beautiful, but can run all day. It's just lovely. It's like, basically, it's the big version of the Adams Radio. They're not cheap, though, Atlantics, I will say. This is the only beach head I could find for sale at the time, um, and it being pre-owned doesn't put me off at all. Um, got so many pre-owned locos in the past. It's not really an issue. Um, but it is obviously mint condition, etc. And it was I think, still 150 quid, which is quite strong, really. Strong values for, for locos. But the 7Fs are even more valuable. And they're slightly worse locos as well. But I do love a 7F. And I've got one. And I'm very, very happy to have one. Um, What a gorgeous thing. 
That's great with those characters as well. And stop. There we go. That is Beachyhead H2 Atlantic from the LBSC in BR Land uh, Black Early Crest. Um, and yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh, it's my first proper Atlantic, and I'm super happy uh, to say that there'll be very, very, very more, uh, very, very many more. Uh, not that many more. I would probably say there's going to be another H2, I think, in a different livery, and a H1 and a Z1. That's how it's going to work. All different liveries, obviously. Um, and they all do have slight detail differences, but they'll all be beautiful uh, anyway, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, uh, what do you think? Comment down below. I know they're not everybody's taste, personally, but it is what it is. It's, it is mine. I love pre-grouping, and I do like Southern Locos as well, so it's a perfect mix, really. Um, and I do like Bluebell Locos as well, even though I've never been to Bluebell. Um, but it is basically the Adams Radial, but bigger. And I love the Adams Radial, so that's why I love this as well it's even in the same livery so yeah anyway it's gorgeous and super happy that it has joined the collection and uh, but hopefully there will be more locos to come very soon so comment what you'd like me to uh to uh to get hold of uh review on the channel etc uh there'll be more videos on the way very soon and i'll see you all for some more uh shortly goodbye